Another update now on that breaking news. We've got live pictures from Chopper 13 and we have been seeing cars being evacuated from a parking lot right near Flamingo and Sand Hill, kind of on the Smith side that you're looking at. And then across the street, we're seeing folks moved over there, standing in the parking lot along with police, kind of looking across the street. And we have our photographer Eric in the chopper. And Eric, you've been watching this all through the commercial break, so you see more than we do. What, what's going on? Good morning, Beth and Dana. Um, what we're seeing right now is, uh, like you mentioned earlier, uh, they're trying to get this parking lot evacuated. Uh, as we arrived on the scene, there were some metro, um, some metro cruisers in front of the Smiths. Um, it appeared they got out of there and started evacuating nearby businesses as quickly as they could. You saw those cars filing out of there. Uh, they have shut down the parking lot here on the scanners. They're not letting any pedestrian traffic in. And um, it does appear that anybody who was evacuated from that plaza is across the street here near this Blueberry Hill restaurant. Um, just recently, this, uh, this large group of metro cars showed up. It appears they are um, uh, gathering what information they have and uh, will hopefully um, give us more information uh, uh, soon. Yeah, so Eric, we don't know if it's a suspicious device or if there's a dangerous person there, but for some reason, police evacuating that huge Smith shopping center and no one's being allowed back in. That is correct, yeah. Uh, we did hear on the scanners about um, they could potentially have armored units on their way. Um, I noticed uh, there were some command vehicles that just showed up right here. Uh, very, very large scene, lots of metro presence here, so uh, we'll continue to monitor uh, the situation over the scanners and uh, report what we know. Yeah, it looks like they got some vehicles in the middle of the road. We've got Marissa Kinnison going there, too, and once she gets on the grounds, able to talk to police, we'll have that for you live. All right, early voting in Clark County starts this weekend, and you probably noticed election season tends